When we use the word demographics, we are in the world of babies, deaths, and people coming and people leaving, something governments watch very closely. Whether a nation's population is growing or shrinking, demographics change everything. An address by the PM Lee Kuan Yew of Singapore to an international congress in 1983 told the story clearly. We have discovered that as women become better educated and secure financially, they have fewer babies. This means that Singapore will have to rely on immigration in the future to keep its economy strong. Our challenge will be to ensure that the mix of immigrants does not have a damaging impact on our culture. This is the story of all the developed nations where women on average are having one and a half children, where an average of 2.1 children per female is necessary to keep a population stable. I received a briefing on Canada's demographics from the PM's office around the same time with a similar prediction as Singapore. The fear of the Canadian government was low birth rates mean not enough future taxpayers to fund our pension and health care systems. Fewer young people and more older people is a deadly combination. When developed nations recognize they will need immigrants, the issue is where will they come from? While some of the nations with an overpopulation are Nigeria, India, and Indonesia, developed societies of Europe and North America are going to have to become multicultural whether they like it or not. Japan, to take another example of a nation that is shrinking, is fearful immigrants will change their culture. To deal with a shortage of workers, Japan has focused its research on all forms of robotics. It is a world of machines rather than of babies. Russia is a special study of a shrinking population. Here we have a combination of the highest death rates in the world because of a poor medical system people immigrating out and no one immigrating in. All the Eastern European nations are also dealing with a shrinking population. They just can't seem to attract immigrants. In Bulgaria, they have noticed that their population shrinks. The first problem is not enough people in rural areas to keep local stores open. So Bulgaria has had to rely on traveling grocery stores to bring the basics to the small towns. India and China have a special democratic challenge. Access to sex selection technologies has resulted in women aborting female fetuses. The result today is both nations with a shortage of 30 to 40 million women, a nation of loneliness, trafficking, and prostitution. Looking to the future, one of the reasons Canada is projected as the nation of the future is not its resources, geography, or democratic institutions. It is the ways by which immigrants are made to feel welcome.